Having been on the trail of monsters all over the world, I've learned to expect the unexpected. From wrestling a 300 pound extraterrestrial in a city, to dragging an electric eel from a drying out mud puddle. But this could be my most unexpected quest yet. Over the past few years, I've been receiving information from all over the states, telling me there are river monsters lurking in America's backyards. So I'm going on a hunt to discover if there really are killers in the fresh waters of the United States. My journey begins in Florida, on the trail of one of the world's most formidable predators. And the reports that I've been hearing suggest that this potentially lethal animal is prowling unsuspected right under the noses of tens of thousands of people. This fish was the inspiration for one of the most iconic movies ever produced, Jaws. In the film, a great white stalks the coast of New England. But the blockbuster is actually based on a series of bull shark attacks in New Jersey in 1916. Two attacks didn't happen in the ocean, but in a river 16 miles inland. Bull sharks are top predators in warm coastal seas all over the world. But they are also able to survive in freshwater, which makes them trespassers into my territory. And I'm getting reports suggesting that they are well established in the Sunshine State. I want to find out if these deadly animals really are prowling Florida's inland waters. And if so, is this a modern day Jaws just waiting to happen? Although great whites steal the headlines, bull sharks are responsible for more human fatalities than any other shark. In recent years, there have been several horrific attacks off Florida's coasts alone. Dawn Shawman was nearly killed by a 10-foot bull shark off Melbourne Beach in 1993. I'm hoping that her first-hand account will give me a deeper insight into bull shark behavior. And that was probably by 25 to 50 yards out past the waves, maybe in 15 feet of water. And I just felt something slam into it. I felt this burning in my hand and, and a burning in my leg. The whole water around me just started filling with blood. Dawn wasn't just worried about her own life. She was six and a half months pregnant at the time. And I did start panicking. And I think I remember just like calling out for my mom and just being really worried, like, I needed help and then no one was there but me, so I just relied on me, and that's, that's the point where I gathered myself together. She struggled back to shore as fast as she could. Dawn was rushed to the hospital, where she underwent surgery to repair life-threatening wounds. Just her leg needed 85 stitches. Two and a half months later, she gave birth to a boy. He's now 18. And he was born healthy, and we named him McIntyre Shark Shaman. This near-death experience has given Dawn an expert understanding of what could have led to the bull shark attacking her. 